Good morning, North America, fans of Privateer FX. Super quiet morning this morning. We're following this uh, Sterling, as we talked about at the European Open. There has been collaboration in price. We traded up to uh, 132.73. We have a minor, minor, tiny, tiny, tiny long position now. Um, been very slow going. I don't think we're going to see this thing back uh, below this 25 level, so um, we are recommending Core Long Sterling. I'm not sure when this vote in the UK Parliament is going to be. It may be a couple days of uh, back and forth between the parliamentarians. But chart wise, as you can see on the daily, you can see what we're doing. Core Long looks to be the way. Um, this trend line no longer really is interesting. The big, big point is 133.63, very long ways away. Uh, if we continue with conditions like today, which is very slow, uh, but core long sterling seems to be the way. Euro sterling printed the 20 low. Now we have a triple bottom there, plus the 200 day. Ideally, there'll be a piece of news that drives this, and if there is, this then becomes incredibly important. If it's not news-driven, then it's still important, but if it is news-driven, it's incredibly important. you got to keep an eye on this level. Sterling Swiss, same chart. Wow. You know, if that wasn't Sterling Swiss, that's a break trader's dream right there. But because it's Sterling Swiss and it's basically impossible to trade, Price is uh, very wonky. Um, you gotta, you gotta step back, and uh, at least we step back, and then we reduce our risk. Whenever we trade Sterling Swiss, it's it's very social amounts. Um, but Euro Sterling and Sterling Swiss have printed up some pretty good charts. Kiwi market surely short. Uh, we've printed this now, sort of pivoty. 67.86 point. We do have retail sales in America. We're at 83 now. Lord, I guess we're going to be through before retail sales comes out. New York Empire and retail sales today. Let's keep an eye on this. Uh, if this is negative, um, this could be the springboard for cable even further higher and a squeeze in Kiwi. According to Morgan Stanley, the market is incredibly short Kiwi. If you believe what Morgan Stanley says, um, then you might conjecture Kiwi is going to go higher. Anyway, according to the candlesticks, if Kiwi gets above 67.86 and closes above it, we should be long. So, voila. I'll leave that with you. We're watching Kiwi. We're playing around alongside of the Sterling uh, equation, and uh, the rest of it we're just watching, waiting. Very quiet day so far. I'm trying to get a little positive momentum in the PL at the beginning of the week, and then uh, build on to greater things later on. Good luck out there, people. I will talk to you tomorrow at the European Open. Bye.